about halfway through the parade, we heard just at least 50 gunshots. Endless, an endless stream of gunshots. Everyone around us thought it was fireworks. My dad also thought it was fireworks. I just, I dug my nails into his arm. I'm like, we have to run, we're running. And we just started running down the street about right behind my dad. So about four arm lengths away from where I was, a girl was shot and killed. Um, we saw her later. Um, we ended up hiding behind a dumpster for about an hour before going into Uncle Dan's sporting goods and hiding in the basement there. Um, there were multiple people shot in Uncle Dan's sporting goods that were taking shelter there. The manager was wonderful and protected all of us and worked with the police. Um, but there were so many people. We, as we were walking back, there were, they were doing CPR on a man and I'm pretty sure he was unresponsive. He was at Port Clinton Square and they were doing CPR for at least five minutes and I, I think they put him, um, yeah, it was, it was devastating. Um, I was with small children who should not know what's going on and I was just, you know, they were asking and we were all saying, oh, it's just, you know, fireworks, people are silly, we're just playing hide and go seek. And we just hung out behind the dumpsters and, um, you know, just got these kids to think it was a game and, you know, just all consoled each other before, you know, going into the basement and taking refuge there. And finally, a police officer drove us to our car 